Whether you're looking for answers to specific life questions or seeking to become the best version of you possible, welcome to the Mental Breakdown and Psych Reg podcast, where we offer insight, information, and strategies based upon research and years of practice as clinical psychologists. So sit back, have a listen, and get connected with our hosts, Dr. Bernie Wilkinson and Dr. Richard Marshall. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about a topic that parents often struggle with, yeah. and, and that is the issue of uh, teen, especially, right. um, marijuana use. Right. Yeah, in this day and age, with um, the legalization, uh-huh. yeah, it has my own. No, no, the... the <laughs> No, I wasn't thinking about oh. that. You, you did have a little bit oh, of a Oh, I inhaled. No, the, <laughs> no, in this day and age, we, I think we've said that a lot of times over the last uh, few weeks. We've been talking about in this day and age, uh, this oh. in that and that and this. Well, in the current environment. There we go. That's, um, a, that's a new way. With to, the legalization, this yes. whole legalization issue, yeah. it is very much on teenagers' minds. Yeah. Um, several years ago... Teenagers would come in and say, well, eventually it's going to be legalized, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. and it, it is, yeah. okay, it, it, and it's going to be legalized in more and more states, and eventually, right. within a few years, all states will probably have legalize it, right. um, which sends a, um, conflicting messages to kids, because on the one hand, we're telling them not to smoke marijuana, mm-hmm. on the other hand, it's moving toward legalization, and they know and, what that means. And, and I think that, you know, I, I, I struggle with certain aspects of this, because, um, you know, when, when they were talking about legalizing alcohol yeah. or, you know, getting rid of prohibition and everything, right. you know, I don't remember, I don't know if you remember, if, that, if there was the argument that, well, what, is, what message is this sending kids? Right. I, I, I don't know that they were doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it, it's difficult to, to really um, think about, uh, I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for. It, it's difficult to, 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 I think, implicate what's going to happen to kids as it relates to making decisions for the legalization. Right. Um, no, nobody's saying teenagers should be using this. That's right. Just like not, nobody it really says isn't that, part of the argument. Right. Okay. Right. Now, it, it sends them a mixed message, in, in, you know, because you know, alcohol is legal, so they want to drink as teenagers. Right. Um, cigarettes are legal, so they want to smoke as teenagers. Mm-hmm. So if marijuana is legal, they're going to want to smoke as teenagers. But So in, in that sense, I get it, but... You know, nobody's advocating for the recreational use of marijuana, just like they're for not teenagers. for teenagers, right. just like they're not for alcohol or That's cigarettes right. or anything else. That's right. This is no different than alcohol or cigarettes. This will, these will be controlled substances, right? just like alcohol is a controlled right. substance. Now, does that mean that teenagers will get it? Yes, but they get it now. But they're already getting it. Right. Okay. That, that's the whole point. I mean, right. that's why prohibition was amended, why the, why the Constitution right. was amended. To do it because people were drinking anyway. Right. It didn't matter. Didn't matter. No. Right. Right. So, today's article comes from or is written by Rachel Lohman, mm-hmm. and she is the author of the Angry Workbook for Teens. She's right. a licensed practicing um, counselor, and and so she the title 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 title. Oh, there we go. The title is Why Teens Get High, mm-hmm. uh, Top Reasons Teens Give for Using Marijuana, and and I think that th- there's a couple of these that are that I think are very consistent with mm-hmm. what I've seen, and, and there's a few that um, mm-hmm. that are new to me. Right. Um, right. So number one is, I want to know what it what it's like. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and that one, I, I, don't, I don't hear that one very often. Mm-hmm. And, and, no. and so I don't know if these are in rank order from, you know, this is the number one, or if these are just, you know, five of them. I think this is why the, the youngest children who try it. Maybe. You know, the, the, first, yeah. the first thing is, you know, you hear all this talk about it, my college students mm-hmm. will say, I don't know any guy who doesn't smoke marijuana. Right. Okay. It doesn't mean that they all do. Right. It's just so common. Right. Okay. So when, when it is this common and people are talking about it, you naturally get this. Right. I wonder what it's like. You right. Know, what is all the fuss about? Right. Let me well, try it. Which leads us to number two okay. is that everybody else is doing it. So what's the big deal? Exactly. Um, it's. It, it's not a, I mean, they don't see it as a crime. Right. And it is very difficult as, as parents, as professionals, as anyone who works with, with mm-hmm. children and teenagers especially, uh, it's very difficult to, to address some of these issues. Right. Because they're not wrong. You, you can't say, no, they're not. Well, and you can't say, well, if everybody else is jumping off a bridge, are you going right. to do it too? You know, you, you can't 
you, you can't take that argument because it's not going to get you anywhere. Right. That's right. Um, and so you're, you're left with trying to figure out how to handle these mm -hmm. arguments that they have or these reasonings that they have. Um, and, and we don't really have a whole lot of tools for that. Um, because what is the argument against that? What, you know, they have, you know, if they have, you know, a dozen friends, all yeah. who smoke regularly. And, and they're you know, all getting good grades in school and they're all active in right. athletics and they're all doing okay and everybody's getting along. Right. The, the argument of no, it's, it's, you know, it's bad for it's, you. It's going to do this. It's going right. to do that. doesn't really hold up. They don't see it doing that in anybody. Right. You know, and, yeah. and it's, it's not, it's not marijuana. You know, it's not until you move on to other drugs that kids right. start to get that some kids start to get into trouble. Right. It's not marijuana that gets them into trouble. And, and I think it's it's interesting because and this just kind of popped in my mind because I was thinking about you know role model role models from the past and whether they were actually role models at the time <coughs> or not. Right. You know, you had um, Babe Ruth. Yeah. Who who was pretty known to he like threw, alcohol. Threw a few back. Mm -hmm. um, but yet he was a professional athlete that was. You know, arguably the right. best at the Definitely time. Did. Mm -hmm. um, there, there were there were soccer players mm -hmm. back in the mm -hmm. '80s and '90s who were among the best in the world, mm -hmm. um, who you know could be seen you know before the match and at halftime smoking cigarettes and those those kinds of things. And it, then they would go out there and they would run you know three miles. You know, I'm not that old, but wow, I I worked really hard not <laughs> no. to have a response. Oh, that was a good response. <laughs> but I can remember. Um, TV cameras going into locker rooms mm -hmm. um, and guys were smoking yeah. athletes mm -hmm. were smoking cigarettes and cigars right. in locker rooms right they don't do it anymore yeah uh, and I, I think tobacco has been banned in baseball uh, chewing tobacco oh, I oh, think yeah. has been banned mm -hmm. so so it's like you know again these are recent mm -hmm. if, if everybody else is if they see these role models doing it if mm -hmm. they see people that they find successful however they could each success to right. be if they find those people successful and they're doing it, you know, it's difficult to, to argue that, oh, no, you won't be able to reach your goals if you're doing this. Well, yeah. Yeah, some people are. So um, the third one is I only smoke when I'm bored. Right. Now, this is this is one that I that I do here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't right. have anything else to do. Mm -hmm. that's OK, right. well, that's that leads to some concern. Mm -hmm. and, and so I think that and it's it, it's related to the, the, the next couple that we're going to talk mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. and, and that is we're starting to get into the realm of compensatory right you know mm -hmm. now the marijuana is serving a, a, a purpose right um mm -hmm. it's not because you know i want to know what it's like it's not because everybody else is doing it right. it's because, because those, it's doing those first something. two are kind of harmless i mean it's what kids do right okay um they're not doing it for any other reason they're doing it for very normal reasons that they do everything else that they do right okay Three, and again, four, and five are a little bit different. Right, and, and again, not that not that it's right that they're doing it uh, for those other reasons. It's right. just that those are reasons that are not um, necessarily indicative of a of an underlying problem. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, but three and and four and five could could be. Right. You know, if you're if you're doing it because you're bored. Number four is doing it because it makes me feel better. You know, what that's, is it making you feel better from? That's when I start to worry. And, and then number five is to get is to get high. It's to get high, um, to feel good. And so when we think about three, four, and five, what we're really concerned about here is that now we may be seeing a situation where the teenagers are using marijuana almost like a medication. They're self-medicating. Um, to, to deal with depression or anxiety or, or um, just some other mental health concern mm -hmm. that's... that's creating some issues. That's right. Because it's not the smoking that's the problem. Mm -hmm. Because if kids smoke for the first two reasons, that's not going anywhere. Right. Okay? And, and you really don't need to worry about that. We, right. Of course, we would all prefer that they don't. Right. But realistically, they probably will. Mm -hmm. just, just as they're going to try alcohol at some point. Most kids are not going to go on and become alcoholics. Some will. But when we get to three, four, and five, mm -hmm. that's when we start to worry. Because then we're, we're moving from... I'm a normal teenager right. to, um, I have some underlying issues. Right. And I want your children to tell you that. Right. Yeah. Okay. But if there's a prohibition, right. an absolute prohibition, and they're not even allowed to discuss it, right. you're not going to know. I think that that's the important piece is that, you know, if you're a parent who, whose kid is using, or if you're a teenager and you're, you're, you're using at all, you know, 
it, it's important to look at why you're using. If mm -hmm. you're using for these reasons, to, to feel better, to, to relax, to, because you're bored, uh, because, you know, to, to deal with stress or, or whatever the reason. If, if you're doing it for any of those kinds of reasons, it's going to really be important to talk to somebody That's about right. it because you're, you're trying to treat something. Mm -hmm. and, and while marijuana may be a really easy way to treat it, mm -hmm. uh, it's not sustainable. No. You're not going to be able to maintain that. And so we need to figure out what's causing some of those symptoms in the first place so that we right. can get to the root and, and solve that problem. That's right. If you're having trouble sleeping, right. if, you're, if you're really depressed, if you're mm -hmm. really down, um, or if right. you need it to, to get yourself going in the morning or to deal right. with social situations. Right. Now we're talking about something very different. Absolutely. And, and I really want parents to know first. I mean, mm -hmm. I, want, I want your children to come to you first right. and say, yeah. hey, look, I'm not sleeping at night and this, this helps me out. Well, if they're going to be punished for using it, right. you're going to be the last person to know. Right. Okay? Absolutely. So be careful how you respond and how you yeah. react. Yes. Just just talk with your kid about it. Just have an open line of communication mm -hmm. so that you can... In 10 share. years, I think marijuana is going to be legal everywhere in the country. In five years, it probably is going to be legal right. everywhere in the country. Right. I mean, even... Again, if, not necessarily for teenage recreation ours is use. A very, ours right. is a very conservative state, mm -hmm. but I think medical marijuana is going to pass. Yeah. And I think from there you go to recreational drugs. I think Canada's going to pass it around the whole country. Yeah, they're going to they're going to make recreational marijuana. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so we, right. we, we need, we're going to need to deal with this whole marijuana issue differently. So stay tuned. Right. We'll be talking about it. Absolutely. So, all right, that is it for today. Before we go, mm -hmm. we got to talk about our um, UK for our UK listeners the the Lumi um, contest that we have going on right now. If you go to our show notes and click on the link, you will be able to see the terms and conditions and yeah. you know, obligations to enter a contest to win a Lumi body clock, which right. is pretty awesome. It's cool. a it's an alarm clock that wakes you up with light, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> the way that nature intended. Yeah, that would be it a good gradually commercial. gets brighter. Uh -huh. so it's, cool. it's very cool. So, um, you know, just follow the, the, the simple, um, what are they called? Directions. I don't know. <laughs> just follow those, those things. You got to post something and, 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 and follow right. us and stuff. And you'll be able to... Um, Even I could do it. So don't be intimidated. Mm-hmm. I could. But yes, you could. It's, it's, could. it's, it's, it's easy to do. Um, but, but do that and enter to win the, the Lumi Body Clock. is very, very cool. Mm -hmm. The other thing is... This evening, if you're watching this on the day that it's posted, which is um, May 18th. That's right. If you're watching it, Thursday. if you're listening to this today, right. then uh, tonight at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we will be doing a live YouTube event where we're going to talk about tape three of 13 Reasons Why, mm -hmm. uh, that Netflix hit show. Right. Um, and tape three covers episodes uh, five and six. And so you can uh, join in on the conversation, watch us. Watch it on YouTube as right. we're recording it, as we're talking mm -hmm. about it. And you can chat with Enjoy us in the, in the show notes right. um, or in the um, chat, yep. YouTube chat. Mm -hmm. um, very, very cool because um, we've really enjoyed the conversations that yeah. we've had. And um, the ones that we've done so far have gone so well, we're certainly going to be doing more of these mm -hmm. uh, because they are loads of fun. Right. So. Yep. All right. So uh, that's tonight. Um, if you're watching it when this mm -hmm. review, if you ha are after that if you are listening to this after 6 30 p.m mm -hmm. on may 18th then Catch all you have on. to do is um go to youtube it'll be there the video recording mm -hmm. will be there or um on the 20th we're going to post it as a as a podcast so right. you better listen to it then mm -hmm. all right good that is it for today so until next time stay happy stay healthy and forget to be afraid mm -hmm.